Morning. It's Tuesday, July 21st. And for those of you who have nothing to do and have some talent, I have a proposition that you might be interested in. If you're an engineer or a designer or a plumber or somebody else with artistic talent and you don't have anything really going on in your life right now except looking out maybe at the backyard or watching the terrible stuff on TV and listening to how COVID-19 is taking over your life. Well, there's a deal out there that you might be interested in. NASA, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration, is offering a cash prize to somebody who can design a new moon-ready space toilet this would be something that's called the Lunar Loo, okay? Now, it has to be a low-gravity waste management solution. So maybe even uh, you might even need a physicist for this kind of thing. Just a plain old engineer might not be enough to take care of this problem. So humans are going back to the moon. And the question is, how are they going to go? When they get there, they can't, we can't have them fouling up the moon. That would be a no-no. Because imagine people in a romantic mood are looking at the moon at night and all they see is a pile of shit. That would not be very pleasant. So this is a serious problem that we're faced with. This is a problem for people with intellect or talent or both that has to get to work on it. And... NASA is offering cash for you to solve the problem. Now, that is a very unusual request because NASA, as far as I know, has never asked for public help before. So it must be serious. Maybe all the great minds in the toilet industry uh, are gone. Or maybe nobody's really interested in creating this particular toilet that they're looking for. I would think they would go to the airline industry and see if they can get somebody from that industry to help them out because, you know, all the airplanes have toilets that might work on a spaceship. But somehow or other, I don't think so because why would they be offering cash? It turns out that they really want to build a better toilet for the astronauts on the upcoming Artemis mission. Now, this is a moon excursion that's supposed to take place in 2024. So obviously, you would have plenty of time to build this toilet and test it. I don't know how you test it in the gravitational pull of the moon, but it would take you plenty of time to test it. You could do that. Now, the agency has mounted what they're calling the Luna Lu Challenge. It's a contest inviting designs from the global community in exchange for a Grand prize purse of $35,000 or 27,900 pounds or euros or whatever they're calling it, right? If they're, if you guys are not from the United States. Now, space presents several challenges for anyone who wants to use the toilet. And I guess, you know, we could just imagine what the challenges are in, uh, heavy gravitational pull or a lighter gravitational pull because whenever you see the guys on a spaceship and you see things floating around, just imagine what happens if you've gone to the toilet. Uh, the International Space Station has a toilet that was installed in the 1990s, but it's difficult to use and has resulted in messes and unpleasant odors. Well, I would expect that if something's wrong with the toilet, that's what's going to happen. They're going to be unpleasant odors. Right. And, you know, the, the agency has said it needs to have a toilet that is capable of containing and accommodating simultaneous evacuation of urine, feces, diarrhea, vomit, and menses. This is going to be an all-purpose unit. 
but a by gender unit available for anybody who can go to the moon. So the challenge calls on the public to figure out how to capture the sewage, the sewage, and the smells in both microgravity and on the moon. NASA hopes the prize purse, which will be dispersed among the three prize winners, I guess they think that one person is not capable of doing the whole design. And hopefully this prize will attract radically new and different approaches to the problem of human waste capture and containment. Children can enter too, but they will receive a non-cash prize. I don't know what that means. Do you have to be 18 or older to enter and get the money? Because we know we got some brilliant 10 and 12 year olds around. I, I guess they they know how to use the toilet, and so they're eligible to, to participate in the prize. Teams will have until August 17th to submit their plans for the Lunar Loo. The adult winners will be uh, announced on September 30th, 2020, and the younger winners on October 20th, 2020. So they got two categories, the children... The adults got to be an amazing project. Imagine imagine that you could win $35,000 and pay for half a semester at a good college. So, and the proposals will be evaluated on their quality, their feasibility, the likelihood that the design could be developed within the next two or three years, and their innovation. So it's got to be... So if you've got nothing better to do right now and you're trapped inside, get your pad, get your paper, get your pencil, put on your thinking cap, and give it a shot. Who knows? You might, you might hit the jackpot, $35,000, or if you're under the age of whatever they consider to be a child, you'll get a bag of Twinkies and something else. Who knows? Goodbye. Have a great day.